Hello and welcome to today's Technical Corner. I'm joined by Dave Hudson from Guring. And Dave, today we're going to be talking about the Pinex tap, which is your latest range of taps. You've got lots of different tap ranges, so why the need for another? Um, we've decided that uh, we've got a lot of confusion within the ranges that you've done. You're absolutely right, Joe. Uh, we've got power taps, we've got the SL tap range, we've got the main tap catalogue. And sometimes it becomes quite difficult for, uh, for the, the, the engineer to decide exactly what tap to use for a specific application. Um, over the period of time, we've developed various geometries and we've optimised them and put them together to put them into a range where it covers probably 85% of the applications that's out there. So this is the tap behind us. You know, what features on this tap make it different to other taps in the marketplace? Well, originally the Pinex range only covered flutless tapping and we came up with a, with a, with a new um, profile uh, of flutless tap. Um, together with the uh, geometries and together with the, uh, the coating and the surface finish which enabled it to be used much longer tool life and a lot, a lot less forces and the extension to the range now is now a cut tap and um, we've now developed it and come up with a range of spiral point and spiral flute um, which obviously helps out a lot with, uh, with swarf control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen this video before, it's good timing. You know, swarf control and tool life are the two biggest issues with, uh, with, with, with taps. So the swarf control here looks particularly good. Absolutely, I mean, the, 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 the biggest problem with tapping is usually swarf control, as you rightly say. And more taps break through poor swarf control than, than, than whatever, certainly on, uh, on, on reverse. So but to be able to, to control that so that the actual swarf itself falls away from the tap, as opposed to getting wrapped around it, is the, the, biggest, uh, the biggest benefit to it, as you can slightly see from this. Sure, and how's that achieved? That's great swarf control, but how have you got to that stage? It's lots of things regarding the optimised geometry of it, the surface finish, the edge prep, the clearance angles, and of course with coatings as well. Mm -hmm. Where do you see this tap fitting? What market, as I say, what materials? It, 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 it covers probably 85% of the materials from the uh, um, standard um, low carbon steels into the, the tougher steels, into the um, um, stainless steels and uh, pretty well covering everything. Where you get to some of the real exotics, uh, you're then looking at some of the other ranges that we have and that's where it benefits. So maybe the 80-20 rule, you know. Absolutely. For everyday machinists, it's perfect. If you want something a little bit more specialist, maybe look at some of your other ranges, power tap or what have you. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it's good. How about the stocks? Are we looking imperial and metric? Yeah, it covers metric coarse, uh, metric fine, uh, UNC, UNF, and BSP, and um, um, and specials as well. If you have a, 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 a thread that you need to be known as a special, we can make that as well. So, what coating and what base material? They're uh, they're all cobalt, and they're either eight percent cobalt or they're uh, PM thirty as well. So there's a there's a there's a powder metrology version mm -hmm. as well, and they're uh, aluminium nitride coated and uh, for the spiral flute and for the spiral point there are our new serious coating. Uh, um, very serious. Very, very, seri <laughs> very serious, yeah, which is actually uh, zirconium mm -hmm. uh, coating. Okay, so if you're looking to put thread in holes, which I'm sure you are, why not consider these new taps from Goering?